Hello and welcome to another SmartSafe ADAS calibration video. Today we have a 2023 Kia Telluride and we'll be calibrating the ACC or Adaptive Cruise Control front radar using our iSmartLink 801 display tablet. This will be a dynamic calibration, which means we'll be driving the vehicle and the vehicle itself will be performing its own calibration steps. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we need to establish communication between the vehicle and the tablet. And that's done via the VCI, which is conveniently located here in the tablet. So I'll go ahead and plug this into the OBD2 port. Next, we'll go ahead and click on ADAS calibration. One thing to note, because this is a dynamic calibration, uh, we do have to have our Wi-Fi ho or hotspot enabled uh, so that the tablet remains having a data connection. So just make sure you have that established before you start. So here we'll select USA version. And as always, we always perform a system scan prior to uh, performing any calibration. This is to go ahead and baseline what DTCs are currently present in the vehicle. So being that this is a demonstration, we do not currently have any DTCs, so we're clean and green here on the system topology page. But we'll go ahead and generate a pre-repair report uh, to indicate as such. So we'll generate that report. Shows we're all good and clear. We'll save it. And then we'll go ahead and start into the calibration function. We'll go ahead and choose ACC, radar calibration. Go ahead and click OK here. Now you will need to have the uh, serial number from the radar sensor. This is obtained on the back side of the radar and it's going to request the last two digits of, the, of that serial number. So we'll go ahead and enter that in. And uh, this is assuming that you've had some issue uh, with the radar sensor. Maybe the vehicle was in an accident. So there, you want to have your angles set properly to at least zero degrees. Uh, for that radar sensor prior to beginning. Uh, and it is always recommended to have a static calibration done before. We've already done that in this particular example here. So we'll go ahead and choose the C2 option, which is the driving uh, portion or dynamic portion of the calibration steps. So we'll choose C2. Now this is gonna take approximately five to 15 minutes, depending on the road conditions that we have. So um, depending on the weather conditions, you, uh, your time for calibration may vary. Okay, so we do have the vehicle now in the dynamic calibration mode. Uh, it's recommended that we try to drive at least uh, at a con constant speed of 40 miles per hour. So we'll go ahead and kick this off. And we do have a percentage of alignment uh, progress date here. So obviously we're at 0% right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and start driving. I'll place the tablet there. Well, I'll just probably keep it on my lap here. I'm going to choose the center of the lane here as that does help things. Um, okay, we've been driving for a little while here and uh, we're already at 15% uh, completion. So we'll just continue to drive along this road and wait till we hit 100%. So we're just about 55% completed. So a little bit more to go, and it's been just over 11 minutes, so. All right, we're just over 76% now. So we should be completed here shortly. A 
coming up on 82%, 84. up to 91%. And we're at 100. So here we have our completed message. So we'll go ahead and pull over where we're safe and finish off the rest of the steps. Okay, so we've completed the dynamic portion of the calibration, just under 15 minutes here. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. We'll go ahead and create the report. Save that. And then we'll go ahead and run a, another scan. So we'll go to System Scan, Start Scanning. And this is just to ensure that all of our codes are clear. All right, and then we can go ahead and generate our post-repair report. We'll add in our pre-repair as well as our diagnostic scan. And click on OK. And now we have our completed report. So we'll hit save, and then we'll go ahead and exit out, and we'll hear a series of beeps to remind us to not forget our VCI. So this completes the dynamic calibration for the ACC, or Adaptive Cruise Control Front Radar, on a 2023 uh, Kia Telluride. We hope you found the video helpful, and we look forward to seeing you at the next one. Bye for now.